how long did it take you to write the script? Um, it was, it was a bit of a process. It was a fast writing, um, it took about three, I'd say three days to, um, really get the concept down, but then I took two days to, um, go through again and it's, it's a complicated script in that it's it's super simplistic um, because the premise of the story is just going through the day with Will and seeing what a normal day is like for him. But the the original concept that I had was him doing a voiceover the whole time. We don't get any sound within the actual scenes. Um, but then as I was writing it, I thought I can't. I need something more from him. I need I need something more that's relatable to the audience. And so in like spending time with this character and listening to um, certain pieces of music, this story came out that he um, that he tells and it's about something that happened to him in his childhood. And as I started hearing this story, I knew that it needed, um, it needed to be, it needed to be in it, and it needed to coincide with what was happening on screen. Um, and it's a really nice um, parallel between what he's talking about and what happens. So I had the basic story done in about three days, but then, you know, in talking with him in my head. Um, like okay I need to go back and include this and figure out a way to, to mesh the two. Um, so that took about two days to fine-tune it and then there was actually a part that wasn't originally in the script that I ended up adding about a week later. Um, it took about a day to add it in. Um, it's a phone call with uh, one of the characters named Claire that she has uh, she has a conversation with Will that's um, pretty heartfelt and emotional. And it wasn't originally in the script, but the um, the actor playing Claire is uh, Kate Johnson, and I was working on a film with her. Um, it's called All Roads Lead to Here um, by Shaylee Norton, and it's a dramatic role, which I had only seen. Kate do comedy up to then. Um, she's known for her project that she created called The Leslie. It is a web series. And it's mostly comedic, but she does have dramatic moments in it. But in this short film, I just saw a new level that I'd never seen from her. And I thought to myself, get, you need to give her something because this needs, her talent needs to be seen. But also, the character that she is playing, it just, it it allowed me to show more of that, knowing what she could do, knowing the range that she had. And so, um, so I just sat down and this phone call just came to me. Um, the interesting thing is, it's something that would have existed in the world of Invisible Struggle anyway. It's definitely a conversation that would have been had, I just wasn't gonna have her on screen to do it and it was just um, originally it was just like a little couple blips of the phone call he was having um, but you don't see her it's just it would have been a voiceover or something um, but then seeing just seeing her talent I was like okay I can expand this and it's actually a lot better for the story so um, I'd say all in all about six days um, and the first three were just uh, a lot of me crying while <laughs> writing it uh, because I the the pieces of music that I'm using in the film um, are actually the ones that I listened to while I was writing it. Um, it was just something that felt very organic from the beginning, and it, these pieces of music were something that belonged in the world and helped um, add another dimension to it that you don't get on on the page. So six days.